this is Sword AF Season 2. Let's go. We got more episodes coming your way weekly. Uh, we've got a lot of character growth, a lot of changes amongst your characters. Leveled up. You okay. Leveled up. You leveled up. 100%. 100%. Why don't we go around the table introducing ourselves for the audience here? Hi, I'm Chance. I'm Coda. I'm a blade singing wizard. Um, I've continued my studies. Um, I know more spells. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Hi, I'm Angela. I'm playing Bug, a goblin paladin. Ooh. Yay! Switched. Cinnamon. A paladin. Yes. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Amanda. I play Dolores Paradise, and my sweet Dolores has been on a new journey of finding herself. She is being reborn, and she has now become a bard slash warlock, and you better watch out because things are gonna get crazy and different. I'm Shane, I play Fernie, the oblivious giant wooden robot druid. Uh, uh, in the span of uh, since, since last season, he's been getting into farming a lot, uh, trying to make the biggest vegetables to enter into fairs. Uh, maybe with success, maybe not. But uh, he's still the same old robot guy. Uh, well, now that we've reintroduced ourselves, let's hop into the campaign. The Age of Heroes. Version 2.0, baby. A new era where the definition of hero has changed a bit. Maybe a hero doesn't need to be perfect. Maybe a hero can even be wanted by the law for crimes they never committed, or some that they definitely very much did over the summer. With legends of their accomplishments spreading throughout the land and a summer of personal and professional growth behind them, the world once again has a group of good-hearted heroes ready to kick some ass in the form of the Sword of Heroes. But first, there is a wrong that these heroes must right, something that couldn't be forgotten. For back when they were just starting out, oblivious and naive, they unleashed a colossal beast upon the world a gargantuan dragon turtle. And now that they have nearly unlimited money in the vault of their inherited magic castle, they've taken to the sea on a sick-ass boat with salt air whipping through the sails and a refreshing ocean mist glittering around them. We first see a very special little hero, a little blue goblin paladin. Bug, what are you doing aboard this ship? So um, below deck, uh, there's a little a little a room next to the toilet, um, and it's got some weights. And uh, Bug is in this room, um, and he has armor on, and it's a little too big for him because the guy he sold it to, he at Bug asked if um, it could be two sizes too big because he's growing into it because he's getting it. swole. Um, so Bug's in there and he's lifting weights as the ship is kind of moving. I'm trying to like stay uh, stay uh, grounded, and I'm going uh, turtle dragon. Dragon turtle, turtle dragon, dragon turtle, turtle dragon, dragon turtle. Ooh. Yeah. Amazing. Not easy Go ahead and uh, no, it's roll, very hard actually. Roll athletics for me. Oh, that's fourteen plus seven. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> seven. Okay, the time for underestimating Bug is long past <laughs> with the original Age of Heroes because Bug is doing these very specific routines like this that's just working the top of the bicep and then after that just working the bottom of the bicep, going to failure and all that good stuff, really building up the lactic acid. And Bug, you start to get the feeling that maybe if you keep this up throughout the fall, you'll be fitting in that armor in no time. Oh, yeah. Note to self, learn how to work out with armor on. <laughs> I mean, you're doing it. You're really doing it. Um, so through that door, you can see like there's a little eyeball that's like watching you do this um, and like nodding and being like, oh, cool. that's awesome. That's so cool. Yes, yes. Oh. Hey! Oh. <laughs> What's up? Who the fuck are you? Huh? I'm, I'm Sean. I've been hanging out with you guys all... All summer, I've been learning from you. Uh, Sean, I asked to work out in peace. Oh, sorry, I didn't Unless know. Unless was... Coda, Fernie, or Dolores need me. You got it. In that order, specifically. Hey. I'll go I'll go back to the kitchen and, and keep on whipping you guys up some some tasty lunch. Lunch is soon though, by the way. So uh, just make sure you guys are all here, because food waits for no one. It, it'll it's only gonna be hot for a minute. <laughs> uh, Bug goes, interns. <laughs> <laughs> Coda, what are you up to? 
Um, I think Coda is in the captain's quarters, um, and he's got like maps and shit spread out in front of him on the table, and he's like kind of brooding, and he's like, Kirsty, yeah, Kirsty, I need the maps. Yes, sir. The Ronts Islands maps. Yes. Where are the Ronts Islands ones? Ronts Islands. I'm sorry, I, I had that under R. I always forget there's a W in front of it. There's a W. Just, just look, silent just... W. It's Ron. Uh, here they are, sir. Ronts Islands. Thank you. And I kind of sprawl it out. I'm like looking over it. I'm like, damn, this isn't it either. This isn't it either. What's wrong, sir? I just can't. I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea. <laughs> the Turtle Dragon could be anywhere. No clue. Cannot. Huh. Well, I guess I'll just pretend I didn't hear that and keep on trusting you with our lives here at sea. Kirsty. <laughs> Don't Kirstie. tell a goddamn soul. Because you have the biggest mouth on this fucking ship. Uh, and you tell everybody everything. Roll intimidation with advantage. <laughs> yeah. Ten, Ten plus three. And uh, with advantage, one more. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Twelve. So uh, that's a fifteen. Kirsty looks at you and is uh, able to maintain control of uh, Pee Pee and Poo Poo um, while she yeah. just stands there and oh starts like God, shivering. I didn't like, know that was at stake. Yeah, that, I I won't tell anyone, sir. I'm just happy to serve under you, uh, the famous Koda Hamakir. Sorry, I know you're trying to be secretive. The famous Boda Bama beer. Kirsty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. You're great. <sighs> I won't remember that till my grave. Sir. Oh my God! If Kirstie. I if I die, that's the one thing I'll remember oh. most. Percy runs out of the room. Um, oh Fernie, what are you what are you up to on this ship? Uh, Fernie's up at the the head of the ship. You know, I don't uh, <laughs> where where like the wooden like kind of. Uh, Usually there's like a mermaid or something at the front. Uh, yeah, he's the literally he's literally hanging off the front. Also, ah. uh, the the ocean breeze hitting him. He's looking uh, he's looking for seagulls and fish. He's looking around. He's just on the lookout for animals at all time. Uh, and he's probably looking for fish right now. If, if there's any sort of sea creatures below I'm, him. Amazing. So you're like sort of scouting for scouting for animals to talk to. Great. Yeah. I do want to point out to everyone that the uh, boat is kind of lurched like just 10 <laughs> degrees forward with Fernie's <laughs> weight on the, on yeah. the mast like that. <laughs> Go ahead and roll nature for me. Okay. That is a 10. Whoa. 10? All right. Um, so tell you what, with your expertise and that being a 10, uh, you're in the ocean. You can definitely see that there are um, schools of fish that are sort of like dipping down below and right back up and okay. down below and right back up. It, maybe not the most intelligent animal, but we got some fish. Uh, I see that school of fish, and as they come to the surface, I'm going to cast Shape Water. Oh, great. And uh, it creates a five-foot cube, and I can lift that five-foot cube of water up into the air. Oh, uh, I love so that. It has a school of fish inside of it, and I want to try to talk to them. Please. I think we've established that at this point, for Fernie specifically, you are able to just talk to animals, understand animals. That's part of your built-in yeah. capabilities. Please, uh, go ahead. Uh, hey, have you guys seen uh, a turtle dragon anywhere in the in the area, in the vicinity? The school of fish uh, sort of look at each other back and forth and like look, the biggest one of the oldest goes, Hello, I am the Elder Guppy. I will give you all the information I have. Elder Guppy? The Elder Guppy. You're looking for, I'm sorry, what was, what was this? Uh, uh, either a dragon turtle or a turtle dragon. <sighs> Specificity is not my strong suit either. Well, one of those I haven't seen at all, but the other, something too gargantuan for my fish eye was moving water up directly north, I'd say two knots from here. Okay. Not that far of a sailing distance, I would say. Though it could have moved by this point, it's been about a week. Oh. But it's time to a fish. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Wow, okay. Um, uh, awesome, well, thank you guys. And then he just like clicks and the fish just fall back into the ocean. The secret of the seas, no! <laughs> All right. um, great, so uh, Fernie, you got a little information about that there. Um, okay. Dolores, what are you up to on the ship? Dolores is up on the top sail because it's a big ass ship. Oh, like a crow's nest. She's like had climbed the ladder and she's yeah. sitting on the top sail and she's like, like riding it like a horse. She's like hanging on with her thighs, gripping it. And she reaches in her back pocket and pulls out a uh, box of cigarettes that she got on her travels. They've definitely, definitely worn. Mm. And she pulls out one. She tries to pull out one and like three fall. And she's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> She pulls out one and she she lights a match and it just keeps going out in the wind and she's like fuck. She lights another match and she's like, huh. 
and it keeps going out and then she pulls out another one and finally she gets her smoke in and she's like <coughs> ocean <laughs> ocean wind water that's a perfect song and she just starts thinking of a song that she's going to come up with and she's just out there just kind of meditating on the world and she takes another puff <laughs> and then the cigarette drops out of her hand she's like god damn it she's just up there by herself like trying to be a fucking badass <laughs> and be away from the crowd and like see the turtle dragon so you definitely don't want anyone near you right now you're taking your space no she's right. taking her space she's kind of this is her morning meditation, right? She yeah. has to climb the highest part. She hopes someone sees her and asks her if she's okay, but nobody really does. Yeah. She's okay. just up there chilling. Uh, we see we see directly below where you dropped that cigarette, uh, Kirsty is uh, dragging the map back away and sees like a lit cigarette and three other ones land on the ground next to like what is clearly kind of dry wood and just without skipping a beat, just like stomps it out and keeps walking as this is <laughs> normal, a normal part of her day. Hey, Kirsty. Hello, hello, ma'am. You can call me Dolores. Hello, Mrs. Paradise. <laughs> Mrs. Paradise. Okay, thank you so much, Kirsty. Hope you're doing well. I'm, I'm gonna be up here. Don't worry about me. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone that you're up here. I just kept a secret for Coda earlier, too. Okay, great. Thanks, Kirsty. You got it. <laughs> She's just a nightmare. Amazing. All right, so a little bit of time passes. Um, does anyone want to do anything specific before the lunch bell rings? I want to see if the turtle dragon is super close to us right now, like maybe by the ship. I'm going to roll perception. Okay. Yeah. It is 12. 12. Okay, so with a 12, um, you would be able to see that like, there's maybe on the horizon a little bit of a, a landmass to the west, a little bit to the north, just these sort of like lumps on the horizon, but it is a pretty foggy day, so nothing too crazy. She unclenches her thighs and jumps down off the sail and goes, land! I'm gonna need an, either an acrobatics or an athletics check for that to jump uh, down from the top sail. You gotta roll yeah. for those thighs. You gotta roll for those Hell thighs. Hell fucking yeah, let's do it. No, please. 11 plus three. 14, baby. Okay, with a 14, you land all right. Um, you're a little bit shaky at the bottom. You don't quite stick the landing, so you realize uh, you got to either up the calcium intake a little bit at this age, potentially, oh. or or just in general, not because <laughs> of the age. Um, but uh, Mama needs milk. Mama needs, <laughs> Mama needs milkies is what I should have said. So Mama uh, needs milky. Kirsty. Her Krista? D uh, yes. Dolores needs those chocolate cubes my mom would eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just oh my rocketed God, my me mom back. Ate those chocolate cubes. Those They're were those disgusting. Little, my mom ate those too. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, They're little calcium chews. Yeah, calcium she has chews. calcium chews in the morning and skinny cow at night. God, <laughs> awful, awful. All right, so uh, you said uh, uh, Kirsty and Krista? Ooh, what's her name? Kirsty. 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 Whatever. C U R S T Y. What the hell? That sucks. Kirsty? That sucks for her. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna need some uh, calcium chews. You know the ones. I, t I will now. Yes. All right. So the lunch bell rings, and you are all within range of it. Uh, you run into it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I'm starving. So you open up the double doors that lead into the galley, the kitchen of the ship. And uh, there is this long, elegant table. It's almost as though this ship, with the amount of money that you have uh, from your castle, uh, is enchanted. And there's a lot of different spaces on this ship that don't look like they should fit, but they do. So it's a long, elegant lunchroom, and uh, you have Sean, your uh, intern slash chef, uh, laying out places for you with individual meals. Um, it's three delicious bowls of food and one giant flagon of alcohol. Um, he says, Bon Appetit, everyone. <laughs> Hope it's up to your liking and it's warm enough for you today. Mmm, chicken pot pie. That's what it Yummy. is. Sean, this poke bowl looks incredible. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I really tried my best for you. <laughs> You'll never guess where I got the fish. Uh, I bet I will. Was it from the ocean? Oh, damn. All right. Oh, sorry. Sorry, man. No, it's okay. No, no I'm just... sorry. Uh, Sean, respectively, it looks like you gave uh, Coda a little bit more than me. <laughs> oh, um, I forgot about the bulking routine. I'm yeah, so sorry. I just want to make sure I have the, uh, as much as uh, Coda and Fernie do. 
uh, Sean runs back to the kitchen, and uh, Fernie specifically, you can hear, no, 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 and then a uh, chomp, um, and then he comes back oh with more uh, fish on a plate for Bug. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Thank you. That looks like the same amount, right? Yeah, it looks like, uh, you can have some, I'm not gonna finish mine. So no, I don't need it in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fernie, Fernie's like, oh, alcohol, my favorite, and just chugs it. Fernie, uh, careful. He's also like, uh, oh, guys, in case um, uh, some of the ingredients are from me, uh, but if you need more, and he opens up like a middle compartment and just a bunch of carrots fall out. He's just like, I grew these myself and brought them on along for the trip. If you ever need any vegetables, I've got a lot. Oh, I'm taking a carrot. Okay. Take care, play. I would love that, but I feel like Sean is very aggressive about the kitchen. Barely lets me in there. <laughs> I've been wanting to bake a pie, but you know what? I might be done with it. I might just be done. Oh, no. I might just be done baking no, pies. we really liked your no. pies. You're no. done baking pies? No. You guys really want me to bake a pie? No. That's not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessarily what we mean. We just, I, I, I could just tell you, as someone who's also gumming into their own, I could see you're a little tougher. But is everything cool? Well, yeah. I mean, my body's covered in leather now, and um, everything's cool. <laughs> How's your song going? My song is going well. I'm on the chorus at this moment. Have you written down some lyrics? Because yep, okay. I've got ocean and a couple other words that have to do with the ocean, which well, is yeah. Sounds great. It sounds like you're pulling inspiration from the universe. Thank you, Coda. Yep. And I really appreciate you telling me to go on that uh, three-month journey. You needed it to Prague and Berlin. <laughs> that was excellent. Can I have some of your alcohol, Fernie? Sure. <laughs> it just like has a huge flag and he pushes it over. Uh, Coda's trying to hold it. Uh, you know what? I'm not really in the mood for any alcohol. Mm, okay, fair. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I'll take some liquor. Oh. Are you okay? Can I have a shot? <laughs> Uh, Sean hops out from the kitchen and says, Oh, coming right up. I know it's time for your afternoon shot. <laughs> also, anytime you need to use the kitchen, I didn't overhear anything, but you're like more than welcome to. Sean, don't uh, tell people I do an afternoon shot. You got it. No. Pretty it's, badass. No, we, it is. Uh, Dolores, I, we know you do these afternoon shots. You try to hide them, but we, we can see them. It's, we all live we together. All, we also can so smell it on the We can breath. see you smoking. Is everything okay? It's bad for you, just so you know. I'm just being reborn, and I'm trying something new, and, um, you know, I'm just following the ways of a badass. If you're being reborn, then a baby definitely shouldn't be smoking. <laughs> Fernie, not now. God, not now. God, you're smart, Fernie. <laughs> uh, Sean puts down uh, one shot glass for you and pours it and says, nobody judge her. It's normal to drink like this at lunchtime in Fragan Berlin, the elven kingdom that you went to. And then Sean leaves. Dolores takes a shot and goes, to my journeys. What is it? <laughs> she oh. just coughs the whole thing up and oh, just no. puts down the shot and goes, ah, ow, ouch, <laughs> ow, that really, really hurts. Heartburn is no joke. You guys, you guys like Sean? I, I, I still don't really know anything about him. I actually really like Sean, I'm not gonna lie. You don't like Christy. I, I, I love, uh, I, What? You were just, <laughs> What's listen, their deal? Yeah. I think I think they're together. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no. oh my God! Why is Chrissy with Sean? He's a nightmare. God, <laughs> they came. <laughs> it's wild that they came with the ship. We bought the ship. <laughs> they, yeah, they, came... <laughs> they keep trying to. I do see them trying to sneak off, and and it's just. I uh, saw it's, that uh, too. It's, it's so kind obvious. of obvious. Oh God! Yeah. If Fernie and the, notices the floor it, creaks. Oh, I, so I can it. hear when they leave their room. <laughs> I know you're going it's to someone else. It's freaking all the time. No, they just... are going at it. Really? <laughs> they're doing, they're doing, you know, like organic people stuff. You know, <laughs> stuff that us robots don't do, uh, but they're doing it. It's called sex, Fernie. Oh. And they're really going at it. Well, at least someone is. They're doing it harder than anyone. Do you think they... Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what there is. Well, I'm hearing it. Makes sense. Your room is right next to theirs. Do you think yeah. they know we know? They... No, no, I don't think so. I think they're so oblivious. Yeah, Sean has zero idea that we're talking about. Kirsty right has one cylinder operating at all times. And I think, so I I love think her, but... I think Sean's a little obsessed with me. 
I really? Can't, I can't do a sit-up without ca- catching the guy staring at me. No! Oh, that's yeah. an invasion of privacy bug. He must want to bulk up. Oh. I don't... I think you should help him bulk up. Yeah? Maybe he wants to be your friend, but... God, that guy drives me bonkers. You could use a friend. What? What? I could use a friend? Yeah. I have you guys. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> you gotta... You, you really gotta go out there and find yourself, you know? Yeah. Anyways, anyways, Sean and Kirsty are cool, and if any, I, I do think if anything happened to them, I would feel sad. <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> That's so dumb. I, I agree, especially in the beginnings of a relationship, before they really feel anything. And yeah, I like, I, I, I do feel <laughs> nervous for them that we're gonna go fight a turtle dragon on a small ship, and they're not really like fighters. Yeah, they're not sort. really equipped. No. They're not at all. Really and what if they it just started falling well. in love? Yeah, yeah they're just they're the falling in love. It's really a bad situation. It's and, a good thing, you know, <laughs> if this was a story of some sort, it Wait would look second. really bad. Should we just end it early for them? Well, Should we where are they going to go? What? Dude, we're it's in, on my list of bad on the ocean. What is murder? No, it's just putting people out of their misery. Dolores, the, the cigarettes are doing something. So, something is fucking going on with you yeah. anyway i'm fine <laughs> i'm I, i've got me myself and i and you guys i'm okay can i go into the kitchen and talk to sean yeah absolutely hey buddy hey what's up uh, i noticed you were um uh staring at me in the gym today yeah yeah i'm trying um, to train and bulk up and i also figure you could use a friend <laughs> Oh, well, that's in- that's awesome. I-, I don't know why people think I need friends. I have the best friends in the world, and they love me. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I-, I believe that, you know, like when the elevator... We have to send the elevator down when we're heroes. I'm a hero now, and I got to send right. the elevator down to send you back up. You know what I mean? Train the people just like I was trained before. Oh, I appreciate that quite a bit. So uh, if you need any help uh, bulking up, um, I imagine I'm looking up at you. Right, because yeah. you're taller than me. Yeah. Yeah. If you need any help bulking up, you just you just don't hesitate to tap on my door instead of sneak in like that. Okay, you got it. Thank you. Um, Sean puts down the clam and uh, turns to you and says, um, "Hey, if I if I may confide in you, because I feel like you're probably the best friend I got." Oh, that's sweet. I have three other best friends. I'm not looking for any more. Uh, but that's, yeah, sure. You're my friend. I'm not your. Or yes. I'm your, yes. My loyalty S- lies aside. But anyway. Right. Um, look, I, um, I've kind of been seeing someone and I want to impress them because, you know, I've been saving up for my family back home, you know, oh, of my no. 11 brothers and sisters oh, no, who I have I don't support. Know about this. And I can't wait to introduce, um, well, it's, it's, it's Kirsty with a C. Uh, uh Bug, to Bug's my trying so hard to act like he doesn't know what he's talking about. Who? <laughs> Roll deception. Roll deception. Uh, huh? Who? <laughs> That's two plus three. Oh, Five. no. Two plus three. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, so Sean's like, oh, you're joking. You know, you know, Kirsty. No, I'm too busy in the gym. Sometimes it's hard for me to remember girls' names. Is she on the ship? Yeah, she's the only she one. Was. It's not the Lord's, really, <laughs> when you think about it. Um... So yeah, I just, I want to say thank you and I would love to take you up on that training as soon as possible. Cool. Let's make solid, concrete plans no. for when we both get home safe and sound. Sure, buddy. Just just tap on my, you know, I live in that castle with my three best friends in the entire world. Just knock on the door if you need anything. Yeah. Um, if I'm not spending time with them, um, maybe I can fit you in. You got it. Anything for the sort of heroes. Uh, Sean salutes you. Uh, yeah, whatever. I walk back out. They're definitely fucking. <laughs> yeah. We knew. We that. know. We just had that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope he didn't rope you into friendship. My God, that's all he does to me. Did he? Uh, yeah, but, you know, I, I believe to, you know, I don't know. I've been feeling really good these days, really secure with my relationships with you guys. I feel, I feel, I feel giving. So, I gave him, I gave him. He can tap on my door when he Oh, wants no, you didn't make Are plans with him, okay? did you? Are you okay? Yeah, we sort of made concrete plans. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Sean walks out of the kitchen uh, beaming, just smiling. Like, oh, he sort of looks over to Bug and just, like, <laughs> nods and looks at the rest of you and goes, like, hey, I don't want to interrupt anything, but out of sheer curiosity, you know, is, is there any updates on this whole, you know, hunting down the turtle dragon, dragon turtle thing? Um, 
I don't want to step on your toes. I want to keep you smiling all the time. Um, that's why they call me Extra Positive Sean. Exposition for short. Any updates on the mission or battle story? Oh, that was exhausting. Um, yes, there's land. Oh, okay. Also, huge. I talked to a school of fish, and they said they did see a gigantic creature uh, about two knots north uh, about a week ago. A week ago. So, kinda, okay. kind of could All be right. anywhere now. That's pretty good. Where was the land? West. Sean, did you talk to anybody in the town when we docked? Um, yeah, I talked to some old sailors. Apparently, there's a bunch of ships that have been sinking because of some gargantuan monster. I guess that was a few months back, he said. Um, but they were all like, <laughs> they were all like merchant ships or like industrial ships. I think passenger ships were like fine, mm. but apparently, a lot of people losing a lot of money right now. It's crazy. I don't know why you're here, Sean, <laughs> but I'm gonna try my best to just work through this. So ships are being taken down by this creature. It's obviously the turtle dragon, you guys. Yeah. Okay. Let's head north then. I say we head north Great. and should we take out the little dinghy and kind of survey that land? Maybe the turtle dragon is hiding there. I'll go on land with you. Okay. <laughs> Great. Yeah, sure. Um, cool. I, I don't know if I'm gonna go, are you? We're gonna go north. Great. North was, okay, got it. So you're heading north. Um, one of your uh, interns slash mercenary initiates for the Sword AF, or excuse me, for the uh, Sword of Heroes, um, uh, wheels the ship north and keeps an eye out. Taking a trip to this land, you know, you sort of have to compensate a little bit because it was two knots north. You got that information a while back. You had a whole lunch as you were continuing to sail. Um, so it takes you a little while to find it. But uh, closer toward mid to late afternoon, you start to see this large landmass on the horizon um, get a little bit larger. Um, go ahead and roll a perception check for me, everyone. That is a 12. 12? 20. Nat 20? Well, 17 plus 30. Dirty 20. 16. Dirty 20. 12. Okay. Um, dirty 20. Dolores, you can see peering through all this fog what is clearly a giant creature on the horizon. Oh, shit. Um, with a rotund back shell, um, green brown, sort of uh, tanned, leathery turtle skin. This is, in fact, at the very least, a dragon turtle, if not the one that you already encountered previously. However, you can see that it isn't moving, and there appears to be a flat surface kind of all around it on either side. A flat surface? A flat surface. Um, like a like a standing, actually, uh, specifically, Coda, if you're wanting to look closer, either investigation or, or perception. 16. Looking at this clearly giant, turtly, dragony beast, you can see that there is something like a uh, landing dock for people or something like it to stand on. Um, on the opposite side of you, there are even um, hooks for maybe a ship to board, maybe uh, a plank to be set down. Um, and again, the turtle dragon is not moving, but there is a flat, solid surface next to it all around. Fun. Might be sleeping. Let's pull up. Let's, let's yeah, let's, let's dock get on right that dinghy. Here. Pull up in the gangsta. Cool, cool, cool. So um, are you taking the dinghy or are you just wheeling up your ship? I'm getting in the dinghy. We could take the dinghy and go up behind it. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I really think Dolores wants to take the dinghy. Does this <laughs> does this turtle dragon? Is it looking at us? Does it already know <laughs> we're here? Take the dinghy. Take the dinghy. Uh, Fernie, you know what? You have um, you're you're connected to nature. So why don't you go ahead and give me an insight check with advantage? Let's see. Uh, that's an eleven. It's a nine. You've heard stories of turtle dragons being very vicious, but clearly this one is in a different situation. You can see from its breathing, it's it's a little bit labored. It's it's not in the most comfortable position right now. Okay. Um, but it is also um, all four of its sort of appendages. Uh, I guess turtle dragons have like little fins. Uh, they are there are some chains dipping into the water. Oh, guys, I think I don't think he's like this turtle dragon's doing so hot. Oh, perfect. I think it looks like it's in a little bit of distress. I mean, Literally perfect. Saves us a little it work. It looks like it's captured. Here, I can go talk to it. Yeah, go for it. Really? Why don't I go? I'll go talk to this turtle Do you dragon. want me to bring the dinghy up close to it? Dolores oh. is in the dinghy next to the ship, just yeah. yelling up next to it. Do you want me to get it? Do you want to get in the dinghy and we can go yes, over there? Yes, maybe I just go by dinghy. myself because oh. I feel like it will scare it if we all go over don't there. Don't worry about me, man. All right, fine. 
Get in the dinghy. Fine. So Fernie gets in the dinghy, and uh, I'm ready to go over there and talk to this turtle dragon. Cool. So Fernie and Dolores, you guys start uh, rowing this dinghy over to this landmass, and it's a little bit uh, farther than you thought. Like, this whole situation is huge. Uh, Turtle Dragon and the dock around it. And you can see on the other side, there appears to be a little bit of of movement uh, on the ocean. Um, What previously looked like to you as another landmass, it's actually gotten a lot larger. It's maybe someone or something else is approaching the Turtle Dragon. Um, But for now, you've got a little time. Can I yeah. roll perception? Go for it, yeah. I want to see what the hell is going on. Okay, 21. 21. Dolores, if it weren't so big and it weren't so uh, glistening in the sun, even off in the distance, you'd say that was a ship. Um, oh. Yeah, um, there's a ship somehow off in the distance, but it's 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 bigger than you would expect. I'm going to do another roll. Fernie specifically, again, with advantage, roll insight for me. Okay. Six. Advantage. I'll roll another. That's not one. Oh, man. Okay, Dude, well, I... You... Can I, can <laughs> I'm I roll, roll since I'm here? Yes. yes. In... Wait, I'll roll. Let's I haven't insight. rolled over ten yet. Insight. Uh, so that's twelve. So this turtle's eye um, opens up, and again, it's it's colossal, and it's a... And it looks to the left and looks to the right. And you can see that there is, even even you, Dolores, not being so well-versed in animaldom, um, yeah. you can see that there is a look of maybe hope. Um, huh. And there's not any aggression right now. Hey, you, you all right? Oh, shit. Um, Kevin the Moth uh, pops out of your ear socket and is like, hey, yes. I, I know none of you guys uh, on this group speak draconic, Um that's why I've been sticking around. Um, I've been in your head the whole time, but I said my heroes. I'll translate back and forth if you want. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, can we help him in any sort of way? Uh, Let's just say Kevin is translating enough and well enough that you can sort of understand the turtle dragon. The turtle dragon uh, looks at you with, a, with an air of recognition and says, uh, Thank you for freeing me once. You freed me once. Please, again. It hurts. Yeah, I'll, I'll free you, but but have you been sinking ships and destroying towns and stuff? Because <laughs> that's a yeah, that's a little bit of a no-no. But which ships and which towns? I am a protector of this sea, the fish, the reefs, the life here. I have no malice for simple sailors, but those who take from the ocean over and over, at no regard of the ocean's life. I do what I must. Good enough for me. Uh, (laughs) uh, Can I go and try to take off some of these chains? Uh, Yes, but because this turtle dragon is huge, these chains are like, each link is like a dinner plate. They're huge and heavy and colossal, and it's going to take a little bit of time. Give me some uh, either uh, perception or investigation. Uh, Okay, I'll do uh, perception. Give me a good roll. That's another nat one. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Okay, with uh, a with nat... Thank God I'm here, Fernie. Yeah, I, I I don't do good with metal. Yeah. Metal scares me. You're all earth. That's okay, bud. Okay, so with a nat one perception, looking at these chains, um, I mean, you've seen chains before, but never of this size. They're probably unbreakable. And regardless of whatever they're attached to, whatever they're attached to is probably unbreakable too. There's probably not a lock there. Um, there's probably not another side you can look around. Um, there's probably not anything that you can do about this. How far is this ship? Um, this perception, especially with a Nat 1, has taken a little bit of time, so the ship is getting close. And Coda, even you on the galleon can still see, like, a big, big iron ship is iron. getting close, billowing smokestacks into the sky. You've got about maybe 10 minutes before this thing is on you. Bernie, we got about 10 minutes. To what? To what? To a big ass ship is on our ass. Oh shit! Is there a way I can like blast these chains at all? The only thing is, I'm not fully trusting of this turtle dragon. Yeah, I'm like, yet. why are we setting it free? Why yeah, we exactly. Kill it? I'm not fully trusting of it. Is there a way that I can like zone of truth or try to charm oh. it to make sure that it's telling the truth? Yeah, you can guess that if you want. I would say maybe cast it right on its noggin because it's just like a 15 foot radius okay. and it's a pretty big monster. So I come closer with the dinghy. I'm like, Fernie, I got this. 
okay. and I get really close to the turtle dragon, I'm like, I'm gonna make sure it's telling the truth before we even try to let it escape. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have the turtle dragon <laughs> roll um, the charisma save with disadvantage because he's chained up and exhausted. Um, that is na- Already it fails. Um, so he is able to, uh, so you are able to zone of truth him. Great. Yes. Hey, yes. turtle dragon. Oh, save you. Okay, enough. Cut the bullshit. What's up? Are you lying? I am not lying. I apologize for my behavior before, but you see, when you released me the first time, I'd been trapped there for millennia. Of course I raged at the cult that bound me. Of course I was excited to get out to the sea. And when I saw what became of the oceans in the meantime, of course I sank the ship's most responsible. Look to my side. And he sort of beckons with his head over to his right side, and you can see there are these um, large pipes leading out from under the water that are semi-transparent, and you can see this thick, black, sticky goo. Um, you know, this is all on the other side of the turtle um, that you haven't been to yet. Stick, thick, black, sticky goo uh, leading into this area of, like, tanks and barrels. Who trapped you here? Ah, them. They are human, but not. I've never seen any... Well... A bit like you, wooden one, but also not at all. So a group of mercenaries? Soulless, no mercenaries, workers, but metal. Do you know what that ship is that's coming towards us? No, it's it's back. No, that's them. And he looks over with a with an air of fear in his eyes. Um, and there's as this giant metal ship approaches, you can see this look of understanding. And he goes, please. There is not much time. I don't think I can handle another harvesting from them. What are they harvesting? My oil, my icor, my insides. I know not what they use it for, but I know they burn it. Oh, so they burn the oil inside of you too. <sighs> Do you have magic inside of you, or is it just oil that helps them? Fuel. I'm Fuel. merely a turtle dragon, dragon turtle. I would know which. It's both. It's, okay. It is actually definitely Dragon Turtle. We know that now. So he seems like he's a prisoner, and those guys are bad guys. Okay, so well, let's us. have a little combo with these guys. Are we over there? Yeah, are you guys, you guys want to pop over here? Yeah, we're popping over. How? Is there another dinghy? Can you grab the other dinghy? Yeah, you're obsessed with these dinghies. Come on over. Dinghies are a blast. Trust me, on my travels... That's all I did was dinghy around the world. I'm like so world. mad lowering this dinghy. I'm like, fuck this stupid love <laughs> like, boat. I'm like, whoa, easy. You'll love it, Coda. We don't like the dinghies. Kirsty and Sean are up there being like, don't worry, we'll keep watch up here. Oh, no. On the other 10 dinghies that are on board, there are 10, there's a total of 12 dinghies on this ship. Ma'am, we know that. We're going to fuck like that. rabbits. Let's go, guys. Yeah. Get over here. Yeah, look at Coda. I'm like, they're definitely oh, going to no. hook up right now. Okay, so <laughs> I did the zone of truth. Um, I figured out that this little guy is uh, trapped here. He's a prisoner. And that ship is coming to... I want to step into the zone of truth. Those boots do not match. Really? We, we don't have to talk about it right now. I just needed to get it off my chest. Nobody has said anything. I know, and I'm, that's why I'm in the zone of truth. I right agree! Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the turtle I'm dragon. sorry. Okay. Thanks, Coda. I know nothing of fashion, but I know that doesn't work. But they're fossil leather. I know. We can talk okay. about it. <laughs> okay. All right. If you don't save me, I will be fossil okay. leather. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Don't tell anyone. Uh, it, uh, asking for a friend. What's happening? There's a big metal boat coming. So we either got to free him or we move on. What do you guys think? Can't we go talk to these other, this boat and deal with those people? Maybe, Should we deal with them and they probably leave know him? How to, they probably know how to free him. They're they, the ones who captured him. That's what so he just said. So they definitely know how to free him. Yeah. Uh, so you guys want to gear up and possibly fight this yeah! other boat? Okay, let's fucking do it. Question, do we have cannons on this ship? 11 or above, you've got cannons. Nat 20, you got a shit ton of cannons. Anything below 11, no cannons. Who's got the best luck right now? Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah, yeah. Coda, Go Coda was the leader for sure. Yeah, Coda played with all the maps. Come on. Great. Oh! <laughs> We got cannons! Oh! We have cannons! As I delete, delete, delete this outline. Um, great. So there are, this is a, this is a galleon. So for those of you that don't know ship terminology, <laughs> this is a large ship 
bigger than what would usually be used for pirate ships. We're talking, this is what is normally, yeah. um, uh, this is what would normally be used for entire uh, fleets of like yeah. marines or what have you. I mean, guys, so, there's a gym downstairs. We got true. two interns. It's, it's packed. 100%. Yep. Given that, there would be about 20 per side, but I'm going to say eight per side um, cannons on this ship. Now, mind you, there are four of you and two interns that you know of on this ship. So, um, but yes, they are available. Fire! No! Whoa! 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 Jam! We just have the cannons. We gotta see if we can intimidate them away. Why not use what we have? Look at that! I haven't used what I've had my whole life. I want to use not again. We're probably gonna be using them in a second. Look at how big that fucking ship is, dude. Fire the cannons. And okay. it's made of iron. Okay. Do we have some sort of megaphone or some something that we can talk to them from here with? A megaphone. Yeah, we've got to have something on the ship that we can try to communicate with them. Kirsty, Sean. Uh, just a second. Ew. Just a second. Oh, no. Just oh. a second. And then uh, Kirsty pops up. Fuck. Uh, fully clothed um, and uh, with a freshly uh, painted, like, craft paint uh, picture, like macaroni paint. They're like, we were just finishing up our macaroni crafts. Sure. What did you What did you want? What did you need? Do we have some sort of way to communicate with that ship that's way out there? I don't know. You could, like, send a bird. I know a lot of people have, like, magical skills, too, to, like, send messages across long distances. But if you wait, like, two minutes, I mean, they're cooking. They're, they're Birdie, coming up. send a raven. You can do that, right? Uh, 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 there's no ravens. We're out at ocean, in the ocean. Uh, there uh, are seagulls, but... I can charm I, a seagull. I, I, something tells me I that... Charm I can charm a seagull. seagull and have it send a letter. Something tells me that that ship, I don't know if we need to communicate anymore. Yeah, they, think, they look pissed. I think pissed. it's bad. They, do they look mad? How yes. Many, how many feet away? Uh, can, I, can I use perception to see if they look mad? Yeah, go ahead and roll perception on the ship. Okay, yeah. Please yeah, let's roll it high. Oh my see, god. see, that is a nat one. No! Are you serious? I don't know how I could give it to you worse anyway. Um, I, it's, it's a ship. I don't know how you sail aggressively, yeah, but it's right. a giant iron ship and it's coming how to many, this location. How many feet away is it? I say we fire. It's one mile. It's one mile from you. Shit. Okay, it's coming. Let's fire. Fire the laser! I say, no, wait! I say we sail towards it. Let's just sail towards Let's it. So get on the di get the dinghies back up. Yeah, we gotta get back up on the ship. It's gonna take forever. Okay, so you guys are back on the ship. Um, Sean and uh, Kirsty uh, are, are. There's just a bunch of macaroni art everywhere. It smells like sex uh, up here. The, <laughs> Jesus. That's glue. We made macaroni art. Don't be weird. Um, okay, so uh, that took you a minute to get back up there with the dinghies, and by this time, the ship has pulled up to this platform next to the Dragon Turtle. You guys have never seen a ship like this. It is huge. It is metal. It looks like a mountain against the sky and there is just smoke billowing out of the top. And as you look over from the side of your ship, you see um, a large metallic platform get lowered down onto um, this this turtle dragon platform. It's like a gangplank. Like it's just a, a, a little ramp to walk down. And from there, you see these humanoid uh, looking things uh, that you can't quite make out, uh, start marching in tandem down to the turtle dragon, picking up barrels one by one and marching back up. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, they're bad. Okay. Can uh, we fire the cannons? No. We, you want to... We just got closer, like you said. Yeah, but you want to fire on them? You don't want to talk to them first? Why are you so nervous, my guy? You can't just start shooting. So anyways, I started... <laughs> what is blasting. Started blasting. <laughs> I started blasting. Okay, fine. Let's communicate with them. I don't... I think a mistake. I mean, I, I do too. Let's just blow them out of the water. Well, I mean, the, the turtle dragon wasn't lying that these... No, it wasn't. ...things are harvesting his oil, which is pretty messed up. Fair so messed I think up. we can, fair to say, they're bad guys. Yeah. Um, Fuck it, shoot them. I'm like, let's Really? Do shoot them. You don't want to know any information? What if they have I others? I always want to know information. Okay, well, now I'm going to feel like I'll regret it we if we shoot them We could ask them to stop. Don't. We okay. can just say, hey, go, hey, stop. Should Stop it. Should all four of us get, get over there in a dinghy? Let's stay on this boat. Okay, okay, I can go. Why don't I go? Because if things if go to, to shit. Shoot, we're going to need to be on the boat. I could go myself. If things get bad, I'll turn into a shark, hop in the water. I don't think those things will chase after me in the water. It'll I love look. that. And then you guys could start blasting. All right. Okay. Is there a signal we can go for? 
Uh, if I turn into a shark and jump in the water, I think that's the <laughs> Got signal. It. Got it. I think if I if I if I jump ship, start blasting. You got it. I'm going to head got over it. to this cannon over here and just uh, start getting it ready. I can start lighting a match. Can I climb up to the bird's nest and uh, look out to, to, to just, like, zone in on Fernie? Yes. And then I'll shout down to you guys. I'll say, shark! Okay. When you he, got it. If he, if he wild shapes. I'm going to cast True Strike on the, on the ramp. On the ramp? On the ramp. Okay, Ooh. got it. Very cool. Um, so True Strike gives you a bonus to it, hit. Advantage. You, yeah. Advantage. Yeah. advantage. Okay, that's even better. All right. Um, so Fernie, um, you, how are you getting over there? Dingy, are you, are you the, lowering down a ramp too? What are you up to? Are, are we close enough that I could, we could lower a ramp down onto this platform? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Um, go ahead and duck, and uh, what do you say? Uh, I walk up to them and I go, hey, fellas, come on. What are you, what are you guys doing? What are you, what are you, what are you doing over here? Um, so, uh, roll perception. Okay, I'm gonna roll perception here. Okay, 12. 12. Uh, Fernie, you being uh, a warforged druid, um, even though you're made of wood, you can tell that these guys are also robotic in nature, but they're not quite like you in the same way. Uh, they're sleeker, they're lighter. Um, so upon you speaking, um, most of them don't even say anything. One looks up at you like, and then just continues uh, walking along with this drum of oil. Uh, okay. Uh, so I walk over, and I, I'm going to block one of them from grabbing another barrel. I'll be like, hey, 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 stop. Stop what you're doing. Oh, my God, I'm okay. nervous. So um, this one specifically uh, walks in you with, like, the sound of metal hitting wood. What is it, a thud? Kind of, kind of comes up to your chest, like, and its neck is sort of like, oh. as it's trying to walk into you and through you. It takes a step back and sort of reassesses its situation, and then um, it holds up its hand to you, and then it switches to, like, a knife. I'm going to be like, hey, don't. Don't do that. I promise you, you do not want to do that. Uh, I'll take a step back, out of range of a of a stab. Okay. But just enough out of range, but but still. So he continues walking forward until he hits your chest again. Takes another step back, holds up the other hand, second half. <gasps> Two knives. What? Meanwhile, I'm on the lookout, screaming to Dolores and Coda, not a shark, 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 heard. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you when. Not a shark, not a shark. Okay. Bug. Thanks. <laughs> okay, look, <laughs> buddy, I know you can understand me, okay? Because um, I, 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 I feel like we are similar in vibe. Roll insight. Uh, okay. Uh, that is a nat 20. Yes. yes! You know for a fact that this thing can understand you. It cannot speak back, nor would it necessarily want to. It has a job to do, and that's what it's going to do. Listen, I understand you, you can't, I get it, you can't control what you're doing, but I, I have to stop you from, from doing what you're doing. Um, can I push this thing into the water? You can try. Uh, we're gonna do. A, we're gonna do an opposed. Actually, roll strength. We're gonna do an opposed strength check. Okay. That's an eleven. I also got an eleven. Wow. So uh, you and that you push that robot, and it uh, holds fast. And you both take sort of a step back so that you're both kind of at the edge of the the water on either side of the dock here. You guys Did make you just out. push me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we just kind of have like a <laughs> situation. <laughs> But that bit of contact was enough for it. Fernie, specifically Fernie. Actually, everybody, roll initiative. Let's boogie. That is it. Let's see. Uh, six. Fifteen. I feel like every time I roll initiative, 17. I get a six. Nineteen. Great. Um, so, first up in this combat, if you choose to do anything about what's going on, we have ourselves Dolores. Dolores, what are you doing right now? But we don't know anything yet. You don't? He isn't. Yeah, he isn't. Nothing has happened yet. Yeah. You're like, uh, guys, that's not the signal. He said if he was a shark, we should attack. Yeah, you're right. Fuck this. Oh, okay. I'm going in the dinghy. We got to go over there and help him. He's not in a shark yet. He said said the signal is when he's a shark. Okay. So we just sit here? Yeah. Fuck this. 
Dolores okay. jumps in a dinghy and starts heading towards Fernie. So we have a second dinghy heading towards Fernie. You you have enough movement speed to like dock there. I am gonna look at Coda and be like, I don't know why she left, but I say we stay in this fucking powerful ass ship and sail over when those bitches need her help. Absolutely. Do so yourself. Um. <laughs> so. Before I left, I should have asked you guys what you think you guys think I should do. <laughs> Ding it up, bitch. Okay. Um, let's Eldritch Blast this motherfucker because he pushed Fernie. We love that warlock situation. Uh, go ahead and roll to hit on your Eldritch Blast. Nine. So unfortunately, the Eldritch Blast like, poof, just shoots right by um, this creature. I will ask you, Dolores, um, <sighs> now that you've had your sort of like Ed Hardy, Von Dutch sort of reawakening fossil. with Leather Fossil... Um, Elders Blast look any different for you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. Basically, it sounds like a hard rocker jamming on a guitar really hard, like. Ooh. So like. When she does it, you can sort of see the sound waves. Yeah, the sound waves are going in, and they like pierce people, and they make them want to like. They they make them feel alive, but they're also like, God damn it, they're like. Ah, rocking. guitar like those kids and. It makes music. them feel deeply, deeply hungover. Okay. Cool. And like just turn off the music, you know? Like you're too old to party that hard exactly. to that degree. Okay, great. So this goes and shoots right by their head. So unfortunately, that great. was a miss. But the rest of these three robots clock that that has happened. And between the shove and between that um, attack, uh, they are very aware that you're here and it is fight time. Next up is uh, robot number four. Uh, it will make its way to Fernie. So Fernie, this thing runs up to you and rolls a... Nine. Does it hit? Uh, no. It does not hit. So it goes to swipe at you, but because it's a clumsy, like, model of robot, um, all it takes is a gentle step back uh, from you, and then um, that is a, an entire miss. But now it's right up in your face. Um, next up is the turtle. Um, the turtle starts, like, pulling against its chains, but once again, it is just stuck, and there is nothing it can do. Which brings us to robot number one, directly at Fernie. It's going to try to stab you. Does a uh, 15 hit you, Fernie? That does hit. That is a five damage to you, Fernie. Next up, we have Coda. Okay, as a bonus action, I'm going to start that damn blade song. Ooh, what's it sound like this time, Coda? Um, I think it's, uh... Come say hello, come say hello. Amazing. I couldn't sing the actual song, but you get what I'm saying. Yes. Um, amazing. Uh, so your blade song has started. You have increased armor class and damage and all that good stuff. I'm singing. I'm mm. dancing on the waves. We love to see uh, it. And then for my action, I'm going to uh, fucking ready one of these cannons. Oh, amazing. Um, I'm going to say it requires an action to load it and a bonus action to light it. Uh, it will then fire off by the next round. Great. Copy. Sounds good? Great. So um, you are using your action to load the cannon. Yeah. Great. And who? where are you pointing it? Ding. The front of the ship. Great. Um, so... The, right where the ramp connects. Right where the ramp it. connects. Okay, great. We'll, we'll keep that in mind. Very smart. Um, next up, we've got robot number two, also directly next to Fernie, trying to stab. Fernie does a 16 hit. Yes. Okay. Um, so now we have... Uh, that is a two damage on Fernie. So this robot runs up and its fist clenches and goes... And it's, you can tell it's more like a utility knife situation. Like, it's used for, like, everyday carry. Like, I've got to open up this box as opposed to, like, murder time. You know what I mean? Um, so there's that. But that does bring us now to you, Fernie. Okay. So I've got all four of these robots. Are they kind of, like, close together there? The three right in front of you are. Um, and then there's one still on the gangplank. Okay. Or the loading ramp, rather. I'm going to use Tidal Wave on all of them. Uh, yes. Tidal Wave? Uh, Tell me about so, Tidal Wave, Fernie. Uh, uh, a, up to a 30-foot long, 10-foot uh, wide, uh, and 10 feet tall uh, wave. So Fernie just kind of like like moves his hand out and a giant wave comes and he just launches it as at as many of them as he can. It can hit all four of these guys and skip the turtle. Yeah, yeah. Great. Um, amazing. So uh, let's see here. So that is a each creature in the area must make a dexterity saving throw of 14. So let's see who gets hit. We got robot one. Um, does not save. Robot two. Saves. Robot three. Saves. Robot four. 
does not save. So on a failed save, they take 4d8 of bludgeoning damage. <gasps> um, so go ahead and roll um, 4d8. Okay, here we go. And then the, the successful save, uh, they take half that damage. Uh, that's a 22. On a failed save, a creature takes that damage and is knocked prone. Amazing. So whether it's a 22 or it's an 11, this tidal wave, um, you can tell they were dead before they hit the water. Um, the water hits them. All four of them, or you see this, because you have this sort of like robotic instinct, you see they like sort of leave their eyes um, and then it carries away two of them while a couple are just sort of like left sprawling out right there. Um, so all four of these guys are downed. Wow. I turn back to Dolores and I go, yeah, that was hot. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that. That was hot. <laughs> I'm so the I ship. didn't turn into a shark because it's fine. I told her not to go. He didn't need the help. Mm-mm. That's my buddy. That's Mm-mm. my hero. Incredible. It's great to see your heroes at work. Okay. <laughs> so um, upon that happening, upon doing that and having a little celebration, uh, you start to hear some commotion from the ship and like a little bit of a green energy from the robotic bodies uh, floats away and makes its way back up to the ship. Ooh! From the edge of the ship, you hear a voice just go, (laughs) all right, be right there. And you see this huge mech suit fly down from the ship, this giant robotic figure about not quite the size of Fernie, but you can tell really, really strong and really well built. Lands directly in front of you. Um, and a couple more of these little guys start running down the gangplank and, and uh, try to make their way and, and jump. I go, no shark, no shark, but really big guy? <laughs> Still not the signal. This guy jumps down and he says, uh, hey. Hey, big guy, I'm so sorry. I actually wasn't aware that we were giving tours today. Uh, So forgive my manners. And he reaches up and takes off his helmet. And you see this very pale figure, ears pointed, maybe maybe elven of some kind, but paler than he should be for sure. Um, Sort of a well-coiffed hair, even under this helmet. It's like perfectly combed. And he looks and he says, hey, uh, this whole situation is cute. You know, it's not metal. Wood is uh, an interesting choice, but uh, who made you? Uh, that's a good question that I am still trying to figure out. <laughs> uh, I, I woke up like this, believe it or not. You talk a little too well. How are you doing that? Uh, I, I, I don't know, I, I, just, I just do it. I, frankly, you know, I, once again, just kind of comes naturally. Um, I can also talk to animals. So I can also talk that way, too. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sick. (laughs) What could he be doing over there? I just want to get in there. I don't know, but he's not a shark. That's amazing. Let me take a look. And he grabs, um, he reaches out to grab your um, faceplate of wood. Um, Go ahead and roll uh, just a flat strength, uh, opposed strength check for me. Just roll your strength. That's a four. We got a seven here for him. So not not quite great either way, but he grabs your faceplate and he wrenches it back a little bit. And we can see some of the, the metal behind the wood. And he goes, no way. No fucking way. It's just like you used to be. Ow, dude. Yeah. That hurt. You that was my face. You don't remember me at all, do you? No. Oh, I got my old toy back. We got a new little save file here. This is great. I love this. Guys, this is great. Isn't this great? And the robots behind him start like, you know, handing their, putting their hands toward their stomachs and like mimicking like they're laughing, but they're not able to make noise. And he's like, wow. Sorry about the face thing. I uh, had to check. You're my old buddy in Furnace Eternal before you were taken away from me. (laughs) Uh, I don't. I'm, I'm, this is weird, right? This guy's weird. Because I turned to Dolores and I'm like, you're hearing this too. You don't know him. Yeah, you don't know me. You don't know him like we know him. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. He was very different back in the day. And I'm excited to see the new you. And how the hell that happened. Roll one more strength check for me. Okay. 
That is a 10. Whew. That is a nat one. So um, as he's going out to reach for your stomach, um, you are able to swat his hand away. And I'm going to go ahead and lower his initiative a little bit here. Okay. So um, you can see that he's sort of going after Fernie at this point. Now, let's continue on with the initiative order as we had it. Um, Bug, you are up. Okay. Um, uh, no shark. I really want us to ascend on that thing and just like fly this ship, sail this ship right in there, but I want to wait. Mm-hmm. But when we do, we should go badass and have these things loaded. Yeah. Okay. So um, I have an extra attack and you said I can use an attack plus a bonus action to load the cannons. You can load another cannon. You can light yours with the bonus action, and then you can use your second attack to light Coda's as well. <laughs> okay, great. Well, I don't want to fire yet. I don't want them to yeah. know there's so more you can of load us. Up too. I just want to you load them bonus up. Bonus action. To okay. Load up. Yeah. And then can I get behind the wheel of the ship? Um. Just to steady, just to get ready to sail over there. I just want to be near the steering wheel. All right. <laughs> this is gonna be like some water world part secure me. It is some shit. water world shit. Um. And now we are back up to Dolores's turn. Hey. Get away from my friend, Fernie. You don't know him. Fernie, that's cute. So you do remember a little bit. Okay, I like that. I don't know what that means. Okay. Fuck this guy. Can I just Elders Blast him? Go for it. Okay. You know what? Nobody rips off Fernie's face. Ever. I don't ever want to I don't ever want to see that or picture that. So you better watch out because mama's coming for you. And she just starts to Elders Blast. 14. Meets it, beats it. Uh, he does get hit with your Eldritch Blast. Right. Go ahead and roll damage. Eight. This blast of Eldritch music sort of hits him on the shoulder, and he's like, oh, we're having a little rebirth moment, huh? That's okay. I get it. We all live a little bit longer than we expect to, but you just can't stop, right? You don't know. Me. Oh, my God. And can God. I do a, give a bonus action of Bardic Inspiration to Fernie? Yeah, go for it. Fernie! I put my hand on his shoulder and I go, three, two, one, do what you gotta do. Nobody knows you except for me. I grab my drumsticks out of nowhere and I'm like, come to my show. For sure. I will. I would definitely come to one of your shows. Yeah, well, you haven't I, come just, to any you know, of my it's just, shows. It's just a, I know it's just a matter of, it's a matter of schedule. And, you know, we gotta, I gotta work this stuff out first. So interesting. I know your <laughs> schedule, yeah. So when we're done with this, you, you come to my rock show. Yeah, I just, it's, you know, we're, we're, I'm, work, I'm working long hours, so it's tough. It's crazy, Dolores makes music that sounds like the Wiggles. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> Nobody knows who you are. <laughs> but it means a lot. It means a lot. Oh, okay, I'll put a flyer underneath Definitely. your door again. Okay. Again. Okay. Uh, Not the time! You can see uh, <laughs> this mysterious stranger cringes so hard a tooth breaks. Coda. Should we just fire this shit? Yeah, yeah, we want to just fire We have so shit. many cannons, or should we prep more? I <laughs> mean, this many, boat is full of them. How many, can, how can, many we can we prep? If we, the more we prep until yeah, he's more, a shark, yeah, right. then we're gonna light <laughs> fucking <laughs> fire. On, that's what's, yeah, okay. We're gonna, um, we're gonna use a bonus action and an action to prep another cannon. So there's four. Okay, so you've got three cannons loaded and ready to go, We've just need to be cannons. lit. Yep. Okay, great. So, Coda, uh, you prepared that, three cannons. Um, we are now back to this guy, and he goes like, Oh, I'm so sorry, by the way. Um, shouldn't have just reached in like that. I haven't introduced myself at all. I'm the CEO of True Neutral. Biggest corporation, only corporation, True Neutral. We're getting everything back to basics so things can go exactly as they naturally will once I'm done with it. Everything we do is in the interest of true neutrality. So okay. now that that's out of the way, um, let's go and give that another shot. And so he runs over to you, Fernie, this time with both hands and reaches toward your stomach. Do another opposing strength check. Okay. That's a 17. Oh, yeah. That is a 22. So he reaches into uh, Fernie's stomach cavity where you normally keep a lot of things. Oh, my God. But then he angles his hand kind of down into the left a little bit and pushes a little bit further. And as this happens, Fernie, you start to feel your life force uh, drain a little bit as he's reaching around for what appears to be a specific part. Oh my god. Um, you have one turn, um, but he is concentrating on this action. Next up, we have two more robots. <gasps> oh no. Enter the field. Okay. Two robots entered the chat, so did two cannons. <laughs> Fernie, 
While his hand is uh, inside your chest cavity like that, uh, you are not able to wild shape in the way that you would. Um, it, is, it is sort of dunking up the gears a little bit. Okay. But you can try to do something else if you'd like. Uh, I'm going to just try to moonbeam this guy in the face. Okay, great. Uh, uh, call down that moonbeam. Oh, so uh, I'm going to roll to see if moonbeam hits him or affects him at all. That is a natural 20. Okay. Unfortunately, and you fire off this moonbeam from your mouth, and it just it just plinks off of his uh, metal armor, damn, um, and sort of scorches the the turtle dragon on the back a little bit. He's just like, ah, that was cute. I love this. I love this. Keep keep going. Keep trying. Keep trying stuff. Um, is that the end of your turn? Uh, the there must be turn? some reason why he's not doing the signal. This guy always flips into any fucking animal any moment of the day. Shark. <laughs> Shark. It is Bug's turn. I'm feeling nervous, Coda. I'm nervous too. I, should we just should we just go? Should we just attack these well, cannons? His hand is in Fernie. So what do we do? <laughs> oh my God! We're like I'm sweating out on the through boat. my armor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm damn sweating. I don't know, buddy. I I don't know. Um um um, ready another cannon. Okay, I've never. I, I I'm realizing maybe this armor's giving me more claustrophobia, uh, more bad than good. I'm so anxious <laughs> no, okay. in here. Okay, and you look dope. I'm gonna ready another cannon. Okay. And then light another one. Uh, where's that aimed then? Aim it somewhere. <laughs> Where, Coda? Honestly, just go for it. Uh, I'll do it at the dock. Dolores is obsessed with the dinghy. She'll fly to the dinghy, and Bernie can uh, wild shape into a sh- in a shark. Shark. Uh, which brings us back to Dolores. Bernie, do you know this guy? I, I don't know this guy who's got his hand in my fucking Are body. Are you doing okay? No, I, I feel weird. Yeah, he okay. knows me. He knows I me. I feel really weird. Uh, yeah, right. you know, he knows me for sure. I don't know you, pal. I know you, and you know me. Yeah, That's I don't enough. know you, pal. Okay, I want to do Crown of Madness on this motherfucker. Because okay. Because if I do if I do anything else, it'll hurt Fernie. Okay. What's the save there? 15, wisdom. 15, wisdom. Okay. We have it. Well, that is a 15, wisdom. He does save, meets it, beats it, unfortunately. Um, so this crown of madness sort of like materializes and then... Ever heard of Iron Maiden? It's a torture device. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make one of those. We'll make one of those. Thank you. <laughs> Good idea. Um, all right, that brings us back to Coda's turn. Okay, I um, vortex warp Fernie out of there. Do you, want, do you want me to do that? You can. Is it just Fernie? Yeah. Okay. Space stepping into the water. Okay. I'll just be in the water. Oh. So I have this cloak, mm-hmm. and I kind of, I go into the water, boom, close enough to Fernie, and I can fling off the cloak, and I kind of, um, Doctor Strange is nice. to Fernie. Oh, wraps nice. Wraps around him and teleports him back to the boat really quickly. Amazing. Um, it's a willing creature. Are you willing? Oh, yeah. Uh, so the target is teleported to an unoccupied space of your choice that you can see within range. You cast this vortex warp on Fernie, and uh, Fernie immediately appears like directly next to, or where did you want? Fernie's right, next up, to Bug. Next to Bug, safely on the boat again. Okay, so you're acting as this like middle conduit. As you look up and check to see if Fernie is safely back in the boat as planned, um, you realize from your position in the water, even given Fernie's height, you can't see him over the railing of the ship. And as you look back over to the CEO, he's holding this big chunk of glowing metal. And he looks at you and says, thanks, big guy. Hey, if you ever want a job, you let me know. Wow, this is great. You really, you really helped me out there. Yeah. Wow. Um, which actually brings us back to the CEO's turn. So the CEO places this sort of on his own mech suit and you see it kind of absorb in. And his eyes glow kind of this uh, light green, like this mint green for a moment. And he goes, oh, wow. Fernie's been up to a lot. I see how you got here. And I'm keeping that, Fernie. That's cute. I like that. Oh, oh, this is all new. And you can see the mechanisms in his body start to move around a little bit more and start to change and grow. And the robots around him also begin to sort of change and grow. And they start making beeps and noises at each other in a way that tells you you can see that they are now communicating with one another. Bug, you see Fernie next to you, and there is no light in Fernie's eyes. Fernie is on the ground, prone. Not a shark? Um, 
So it is the CEO's turn. Um, he is going to uh, do this huge jump onto the edge of your ship. Um, not quite close to Fernie, but sort of more the more toward the tip. Um, so he jumps. He jumps? Through. Yeah. Who the fuck? Newly upgraded mech suit. Um, and he takes a look at uh, everybody on the ship and goes like, I want to test this thing out real quick. Turns over to Kirsty and holds out his hand and fires off this huge blast. And she flies into the water, completely out of sight. He goes, wow, sorry, I meant to do something, but not that, that was huge. Crazy, okay. Okay, my turn. Well, tell you what, I'm, uh, <laughs> I think I'm satisfied for today. I'll know where to find you. What? Uh, he uses the rest of his movement to hop back toward his own ship. He lands on the other side of his boat. He's like, all right, everybody, let's move out. We don't need this anymore. <laughs> Operation's done. We got bigger fish to fry. Literally, sorry, turtle. And he begins to sort of like pack up as the robots begin to move up. Um, but that does bring us next to Fernie, who is down. Can I cast cure wounds on him? Uh, it actually is your turn next. So yes, uh, Bug, go for it. Cure wounds. Yeah, I'm gonna cast cure wounds. Um... Uh, roll Arcana, or let, roll medicine, because you're trying to heal him. Oh, that's 16 plus 1, 17. 17. All right, so you can tell that um, even casting Cure Wounds at your best ability does nothing to Fernie right now. Fernie, in this moment, is gone. But it being your turn, Bug, the first cannon does fire off. And it lands perfectly at the front of the ship. I like your, your forethought. You got a job, too, if you ever want it. I go... Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, I love that bug. And you watch as this ship sails away with this man who took your friend from you. You look around and see that Fernie is on the ground, motionless, no way to communicate. For all intents and purposes, the Fernie you know is gone. Can you guys, I'm, I'm coming back on the ship. And then she climbs up the ship and she's just like, you guys, that was really messed up. I'm like over the rails. I'm like, Kirsty! Kirsty! No! Kirsty! Sean is like, no, I never told anyone this, but kind of had this thing for Kirsty. Hey, Sean. It's really not the time. Hey, Bug. You killed it. Thanks, but what are we doing about Fernie? I'm freaking out over here. I don't know, but. I've never seen him like this. Look, you could wave your hand. It's kind of like that time he was wasted but he's not laughing. So, Bug, as you're waving your hand over your friend who is seemingly dead and talking about this memory, it sparks something in him. And uh, you start to see a little movement. And instead of these black voids that his eyes usually are, you start to see them glow fiery red. Smoke starts billowing out. Fernie, you sit up. <gasps> oh my God. Bernie? Okay, okay, he's alive, thank God. Okay, buddy, buddy, look at me over here. Is everything okay? Bernie, that's a lot of smoke. Uh, smoke starts billowing out, and then you see flames, like, sputtering, <gasps> and, and uh, all of him catches fire. <gasps> uh, completely in flames. The bark starts to go completely black and charred and starts to fall off, and he just looks looks right at Bug, and he's just like, oh, it's go time! And then grabs Bug's armor and starts heating it up like Perfect. red hot. Roll to hit. Everybody else roll initiative. We got a boss fight, baby! Thanks, everyone, for joining. We will see you again next week and uh, see what's going on with Fernie and if you even survive him. Good luck! <laughs> oh, good.